In today's video, we are embarking on a journey into the future, discussing mind-blowing architecture that is poised to reshape cities and challenge our understanding of what is possible. Let's start with Expo 2025 Osaka, Japan. Expo 2025 is an upcoming world expo organized by the Bureau International des Expositions, which will be held in Osaka, Japan. It will take place for six months. The expo will be held on a 155 hectare site on Yumeshima, an artificial island in Osaka Bay. The site is being developed to be a sustainable and innovative city with a focus on renewable energy, smart transportation and green building. The expo is expected to attract over 28 million visitors, including over 6 million from overseas. It will be a major opportunity for Japan to showcase its culture and technology to the world and to promote sustainable development and global cooperation. Ring House Designed by Morpha Architecture is a conceptual design for a futuristic residential building. The ring-shaped structure is supported by two mountains and rises above a river. It features a circular pool on the upper floor with a transparent bottom, allowing residents to see the vegetation and river below. The ring house is designed to be sustainable and eco-friendly. It would be powered by solar energy and collect rainwater for irrigation. The building would also be equipped with a green roof to help reduce the heat island effect and improve air quality. The ring house is a unique and innovative design that would offer residents a truly distinct living experience. It represents a vision of the future of sustainable architecture. Although the ring house is still in the conceptual stage, it has already attracted global attention. It has been featured in numerous architecture and design publications and has even been the subject of a short film. Museum Bula Bardip in Perth The Museum Bula Bardip is also known as the Western Australian Museum in Perth. The museum offers a dynamic setting for Western Australia's captivating stories, history and culture to unfold through state-of-the-art technology and innovative interactive exhibits. This modern marvel, rising above the heritage buildings of Perth Cultural Centre, was designed by the International Architect Consortium, Hassel and Omar. It encompasses 6,000 square meters of gallery space, including a 1,000 square meter large-scale exhibition space. There are eight exhibitions exploring three major themes, the diversity and spirit of the Western Australian people, the awe-inspiring beauty of the state's landscape, and Western Australia's impact on the world. Hangzhou International Sports Centre the project features a 60,000-seat football stadium, practice pitches, a 19,000-seat indoor arena, and an aquatic center with two 50-meter pools. This giant sports venue is designed by Zaha Hadid Architects and is expected to be completed in 2025. This development is part of Hangzhou's future science and technology cultural district and is well connected to the city's expanding metro network. It is a response to the growing population of Hangzhou where many of China's largest technology companies are based. The sports center aims to provide facilities for both grassroots players and professional athletes. The compact design allows the site to be transformed into open public spaces with parks and relaxation areas organized along the riverbank. The design of the football stadium, the largest venue within the center, is informed by the terracing of the tea farm specific to the area and is designed in accordance with FIFA international standards. The stadium's facade opens toward the exterior with louvers sheltering terraces that host a variety of food and beverage outlets, offering panoramic views across the city. The indoor arena operates independently from the stadium and is designed for maximum operational flexibility. In addition to hosting sporting events, it can also accommodate large music and cultural events. Meandering Valleys the center, called the Jinganu City Culture and Art Center, will be located in the new Jinhai New City Technology Hub to the north of Xi'an. It will span an eight-lane motorway. The design of the center is inspired by the meandering valleys of the Los Plateau which surrounds Xi'an. The building will consist of a series of interconnected volumes housing various cultural and recreational facilities such as a theater, a concert hall, a museum, and a library. These volumes will encircle a central courtyard 
creating a space for public gatherings, socializing, and outdoor performances and events. The center will be clad in a shimmering white material to convey a sense of lightness and movement and will be illuminated at night, creating a striking landmark in the city skyline. The Line City The Line in Saudi Arabia is a city currently under construction. It is a futuristic architectural design in many senses. It is proposed as a linear city based on sustainable principles. It is planned to be entirely free of cars, road pollution and emissions, with a net zero life cycle. The city is going to be 170 kilometers long and only 200 meters wide, aiming to house up to 9 million people. It has been commissioned by the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia and construction is currently active. The project is based on the concept of zero-gravity urbanism, which layers city structures vertically. It allows residents to move upwards, downwards and across, just not horizontally. The line is designed to be a sustainable and futuristic city, with all amenities within a five-minute walk from any point in the city. It will be powered by renewable energy and will have a high-speed transportation system that will allow residents to travel from one end of the city to the other in 20 minutes. The project is still in its early stages, but it is expected to be completed by 2030. Metrotopia Metaverse Metrotopia is a virtual metaverse city dedicated to becoming the go-to virtual communication hub for the global design community. It was launched in 2023 by Zaha Hadid Architects and Chicago-based architecture think tank Archigenda. Metrotopia is built with Unreal Engine 5 and features spatial sound for realistic communicative interaction within a lifelike setting. It is designed to allow designers to showcase their work, collaborate with others, and attend events in a virtual space. Metrotopia launched with a virtual Venice Architecture Biennale exhibition entitled Knowledge Transfer, displaying current works from some of the world's leading architecture studios. The exhibition responded to the overarching theme of the 18th Venice Architecture Biennale, put forward by Leslie Locco, the laboratory of the future. Metrotopia is still in its early stages of development, but it has the potential to become a valuable tool for the global design community. It could offer a platform for designers to connect with each other, share ideas and collaborate on projects in a way that is not possible in the physical world. Miroslav Naskov Foreign Future of Learning by Miroslav Naskov of Mind Design is a research project that aims to create an immersive adventure for education, empowering learners to fully participate, unlock their potential, and thrive in a fast-changing society. Students will embark on a captivating journey where they will encounter beautiful design elements, fascinating facts about the world, and surprises that ignite their curiosity and deepen their understanding. This approach puts students at the forefront, allowing them to shape their own learning experiences and take control of their own lives. The learning environment encourages exploration, experimentation and discovery, blending seamlessly with students' innate desire for exploration and imagination.